If you've been trying to trigger notifications on the Uniview Link app, but no matter what you try, you just can't get it to work, it can be quite frustrating. I've spoken to a couple others with the same issue, which is why I decided to make this video. My name is Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to show you how to get notifications working on the Uniview Link app. First, before you try anything else, make sure that the time is set properly on your NVR. The NVR's time is used as a reference when sending push notifications. If the time is off, then push notifications may arrive delayed or completely fail to send. To set the time on your Uniview NVR, you must log in through the web interface, then go to Setup, System, and then Time, and make sure that your time sync mode is set to Sync with NTP Server, and that you enter the NTP server address as pool.ntp.org. Then hit save and your time will automatically sync up through the internet. Also, if you live in a place that has daylight savings time, don't forget to enable DST under the DST settings menu. You can also adjust the time by connecting a mouse and a monitor directly to your NVR. We have a video showing you how to do exactly that, so be sure to check it out if you want a step-by-step -step guide. Now that you have the time set correctly on your NVR, let's open the Uniview Link app and set up notifications. First, we need to enable push notifications in the Uniview Link settings menu. Click me from the bottom of the menu and then click the settings icon at the top right. Next, click on general and then push notification settings at the top. Make sure that Allow Notifications is enabled so that you can receive notifications on your phone. But if you're using an iPhone, the settings here will look a little bit different. Under the General menu, you won't see any push notification settings, but don't worry because on iPhone it's already enabled by default. However, on iPhone in the Uniview Link app, you will see a Do Not Disturb option that you can toggle to disable alarms. Make sure that the setting is disabled if you want to receive notifications. Now we can proceed to the next step, which is to enable notification in your phone's settings. This will be slightly different depending on if you're on an iPhone or an Android phone, but you should be able to just go into your phone settings and then search at the top for Uniview-Link. And this will give you quick access to the notification settings page. Make sure that all notification types are enabled, including lock screen, notification center, and banners. After allowing app notifications in your phone setting, you can reopen the Uniview Link app and then navigate to the Uniview Link screen at the bottom left. Then tap on the three dots beside your device and make sure that receive alarm message option has been checked. You can tell that it's enabled if you see the bell icon beside your device. At this point, alarm notifications should be working, but there's one more place that we can check to make sure. Tap the three dots beside your device again, but this time click on set. And then tap your device at the very top to select your NVR and enter the settings menu. Then you want to tap on where it says allow alarm notifications and make sure that everything is ticked in this menu. You can also adjust the notification interval. So instead of receiving a notification every time the camera is triggered, you will only receive one notification within a certain time interval. You can adjust the notification interval between 1 minute and 30 minutes, or you can leave it on 0 minutes to receive all notifications. All right, notifications should be working now, but how can you tell if it's working properly? Well, most Uniview cameras will have motion detection enabled by default, so you can simply walk in front of the camera and check for the notification on your phone. If you're not sure whether motion detection is enabled on your cameras, you can confirm by opening up a camera in live view 
and then clicking the settings icon at the top right, which will bring you into the camera settings. Then click on alarm detection and you can enable motion detection. So make sure that it's enabled. And you can also enable other VCA features such as cross line or intrusion detection from this menu. Events that are triggered by VCA detection, such as crossline detection, will have a snapshot attached to the event. However, events that are triggered by motion detection will not have a snapshot by default until you enable this alarm snapshot button under the motion detection settings menu. Now it's important to note that these snapshots do take up space on your NVR, so enabling motion detection snapshots could result in a bit of wasted space. My suggestion is to set up either an intrusion detection or cross line zone, since these will only trigger on people and vehicles, making it more useful than motion detection, which gets triggered by rain, snow, or leaves. You can view a record of all past notifications from the message tab at the bottom of the Uniview Link app. You can click the icons at the top left to filter events to only vehicles, only non-motor vehicles, or only people or animals. You can also click the filter icon at the top right for more options such as allowing you to view notifications from specific cameras or from different types of events such as like only crossline events. Or you can also search for events that happened at, during a specific date or time. There's another icon at the top right of the messages page, which allows you to adjust how you receive push notifications. So by default, all types of events will trigger push notifications. If you want to limit push notifications to a specific type of event, you can simply uncheck all the other types of events and then just check the ones that you want to be alerted for. Going back to the main messages screen, in the center you will see a list of all alarms with a snapshot for each event. You can scroll down to see the past 50 events, or keep scrolling to load 50 more events. Tapping on an event will display it in full screen, with the date and time displayed on the upper left corner, along with the camera's name. If you have alarm snapshot enabled, you will also see a snapshot in the center of the screen. Otherwise, there will be a blank portrait icon. At the bottom of the screen, you will see four icons, or two icons if there's no snapshot. The two white icons on the left allow you to share or download the snapshot, while the two blue icons on the right are shortcuts to either start live view on this camera, or to view playback when the alarm was triggered. So hopefully you were able to get notifications working and learned a thing or two about how they function. But if you're still having trouble, you can also try updating your NVR to the latest firmware and making sure that it has a proper internet connection. And if all else fails, you can send an email to tech support at uniview.com for further assistance. Right, I think I pretty much covered everything. So be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful or subscribe if you want to see more Uniview tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.